The Basque Country Representative Football Team officially, in Basque, represents the Basque Country in football. It selects players from the Basque Country Autonomous Community, Navarre and the French Basque Country and is organized by the Basque Football Federation. It is not affiliated with FIFA or UEFA and therefore only allowed to play friendly matches against FIFA or non-FIFA affiliated teams. The team has been referred to by various names including Euskadiko Selecgioa, Euskal Herico Football Selecgioa, Selección de Euskadi, Vasconia, Equipo Vasco, Euskadi 11 and Basque 11. Most of their home matches have been played in the San Mames Stadium which was replaced in 2013 by the new San Mames. The Basque country has had a football team of its own since 1930. During the Second Spanish Republic, they played firstly under the name of Basconiaco Selecgioa the Vasconia team and then from 1936 as Euskadiko the Euskadi team. During Franco's 36-year dictatorship it only played two games. Then, after Franco's death in 1975, the team was reformed using the name Euskadiko Selecgioa and began playing regular friendly matches, usually during La Liga's Christmas break. Up to the present moment they have played 56 matches against a wide range of nations such as Russia, Uruguay, Nigeria and Denmark. In 2007, the team's name was controversially changed to Euskal Herico Football Selecgioa. In 2008, a compromise was reached and it was changed again to Euskal Selecgioa. In the lower grades, the team is either called Euskadiko Selecgioa or Selección del Pays Vasco and exclusively represents the Basque Country Autonomous Community Euskadi. Topic: History. Topic: Beginnings, the North Team 1913. On September 29, 1913 the Royal Spanish Football Federation was formally created and along with it four regional federations Norte, Oeste, Este and Centro. Each regional federation organized its own league, and also selected a team to play against other regions. The Basque Country was grouped with Chantabria in Norte North. As most of the biggest teams in the Norte Federation were Basque, such as Athletic Bilbao, Real Sociedad, Real Union, and Arenas Club de Getha, so the team fielded by the Federation was occasionally entirely composed of Basque players, and was called Vasconia, El Equipo Vasco, the Basque team, or sometimes just Norte. On January 3, 1915 they played their first match which was against Catalonia in Bilbao and won 6-1, and then on February 7 they played them again but in Barcelona, this time drawing 2-2. On May 13, 1915 they won the inaugural Copa del Principe de Asturias tournament in Madrid by beating Catalonia 1-0. In the same competition they drew 1-1 with Centro, a team formed by players from the center of Spain. In May 1916, Norte faced Catalonia twice in Barcelona, winning by 1-3 on the 21st, and drawing 0-0 on the 22nd. On June 4 of the same year they beat Catalonia 5-0 in Bilbao. On November 22, 1916 the Cantabrian teams left the Northern Federation, joining the newly formed Cantabrian Federation Federación Cantabrica de Clubes de Football, which encompassed Asturian and Cantabrian clubs. In 1918 Givercoa formed its own federation leaving Biscay on their own in Federation Norte. Givercoa and Biscay organized their own separate teams. In 1919 the Asturians decided to form their own federation Federación Regional Asturiana de Clubes de Football so the Cantabrian teams rejoined Norte, but now it only had teams from Chantabria and Biscay. This complicated situation of federations splitting off continued for a few more years. In 1922 separate teams were created for Biscay and Chantabria because the former decided to form their own federation Biscayan Federation. In the summer of 1922 a team calling itself the Basque Team Equipo Vasco was sent to South America. Although the trip was organized by the Givercoan Federation, four of the 19 players in the squad were from the Biscayan Federation. They played once against the Argentine national side, losing 4-0, then drew 1-1 against Porteño, and finally winning 0-4 against a team selected from Argentina's Interior League. The team also played the Uruguayan national side twice, losing both games, before visiting Brazil where they played in São Paulo and Rio de Janeiro. 
After the team had arrived back in Spain on October 5, 1922, the players resumed playing for either Biscay or Givercoa. On November 12, 1922 Asturias played Biscay in Gijón drawing 1-1 and the following day Asturias beat Biscay 4-3. On November 18, 1923, Biscay faced Asturias in Bilbao and won 4-2. The first Basque team 1930. It wasn't until 1930 that the Biscayan and Givercoan federations finally came together to create the first permanent team with the name Basconia Basconiaco Selecgioa to represent the Basque country. Their first game was against Catalonia on June 8, 1930, which they won by 0-1 in Montjuic, and they played Catalonia again on January 1, 1931 in Bilbao, winning that match 3-2. During the first year of the Spanish Civil War the Basque team changed its name to Euskadiko Selecgioa. Their first match with that name was against Chantabria on November 29, 1936 in Santander, when the Cantabrians won 3-2. In 1937 the first president of the Basque Autonomous Region José Antonio Aguirre, who in his youth had been a player for Athletic Bilbao, decided to send a Basque football team abroad with the dual aim of raising money to fund the cost of the civil war, and also as a form of propaganda letting the world know about the conflict in Spain. At the same time a choir called Arishoinca was formed to tour Europe for the same purpose. Money raised was reportedly used to fund a hospital in La Rosary, France, used by Spanish refugees, and also to help support the thousands of Basque children who had been sent abroad for safety. The team consisted of the following players Goalkeepers, Gregorio Blasco athletic, and Rafael Iguzquiza arenas. Defenders, Serafin Edo Betis, Pedro Areso FC Barcelona, and Pablito Barcos Midfield: Leonardo Salarin Athletic, Jose Maguerza Athletic, Pedro Riguero Madrid, Roberto Itziberia Aruti Athletic, Angel Zubieta Athletic, Tomas Aguirre Nimes, and Enrique Larinaga Racing. Forwards: Jose Arreragori Athletic, Emilio Alonso R, Madrid, Isidro Langara Oviedo, Luis Riguero R, Madrid, Ignacio Aguirrezabala Chiri 2, No Team, Jose Manuel Urquiola ATH, Madrid, Guillermo Gorostiza Athletic. As coach, Pedro Valen also attached to the team were Perico Burishinaga, as a masseur, and Ricardo Irezabal and Manu de la Soda, both as delegates. The team made its debut on Monday, April 26, 1937 in Paris's Parc des Princes against the French champions, racing Paris, winning 0-3. This happened to be the same day that Guernica was bombed by Nazi Germany's Luftwaffe. In May 1937 they toured France beating Olympique Marseille 2-5, losing 3-1 to Set, and playing Racing Paris twice more, 3-3 and 2-3. In May 1937, the team began to have problems with FIFA. Due to the civil war in Spain FIFA had banned all FIFA-affiliated countries and clubs from playing any Spanish teams. A match due to take place on 30 May in the Netherlands against Rotterdam was cancelled by the Dutch Federation. But many clubs and national sides continued to play the Basque team because they sympathized with Republican Spain which the team symbolized. The team's first match against a nation from outside of Spain was a 3-2 defeat, also in May 1937, to Czechoslovakia, who had been runners-up in the 1934 World Cup. In June, they played Czechoslovakia again losing 2-1. Then they played Silesia in Chorzow on June 9. When Bilbao was captured by Franco's forces on June 19, 1937 the team were in Moscow. They then toured the Soviet Union during that summer, playing against Lokomotiv Moscow 1-5, Dynamo Moscow twice 1-2 and 4-7, Dynamo Leningrad 2-2, Spartak Moscow 6-2, Dynamo Kiev 1-3, Dynamo Tbilisi 0-2, the Georgian football team 1-3, and finally Dynamo Minsk 1-6. Their only loss was against Spartak Moscow. The Soviet authorities were determined to win the final game in Moscow, so the Spartak team was improved by bringing players from other parts of the country to play for the team just for the one match. Lastly they travelled to Norway and Denmark in August where they beat Norway 1-3, Norway AIF 2-3, and completed their biggest win to date against Denmark 1-11.
In the autumn of 1937 the team crossed the Atlantic to play in Mexico where FIFA had given them permission to play clubs and the national side. After playing nine matches in the capital and one in Guadalajara they crossed over to Cuba where their problems with FIFA got worse. FIFA demanded that Cuba should not play the Basque country. So the Basque team only played club sides, playing four matches, winning one and losing two. Next they traveled to Argentina, arriving on February 25, 1938. They stayed there three months but officially played no matches, due to their problems with FIFA. As they had run out of money and had no way of raising any, many of the big Argentine sides raised money for them. They then crossed the Andes to Valparaiso, Chile, where on May 9, 1938 they played Santiago Wanderers, but the result is not known. Later in May they traveled again to Cuba, this time playing the Cuban national team twice, before returning to Mexico. In the 1938-39 season they played under the name Club Deportivo Euskadi in the Liga Mexicana de Football Amateur Association, one of the two major leagues in Mexico at that time where they won seven, drew one and lost four games, eventually coming runners-up in the league. The Spanish Civil War ended in April 1939 so when the season ended the team was broken up and as a reward each member received 10,000 pesetas. Some of the players stayed on in the Americas and joined teams there. Topic: Franco years 1939 to 1975. Between 1939 and 1975 the Basque football team played only twice due to General Franco's dictatorship which severely limited the freedoms previously enjoyed by the regions of Spain. The first time was on June 25, 1966 on the 50th anniversary of Real Union's founding. A team made up of players from the Basque country played Real Madrid in the Gal Stadium in Iron, losing 0-2. Playing for the Basque country were Carmelo Cedron, Alarcia, Goriti, Martinez, Marigal, Zabala, Azcarit, Iruretagoyena, Aguaran, Amas, Denicio Uriasti, Landa, Chapella, Maori, Mendelus, and Uro. Don Santiago Bernabeu had the honor of kicking off, the second time was in San Mames, Bilbao, on February 21, 1971 when a memorial match for Juan Gardizabal was played between the Basque country and Catalonia. The Basque Country lost 1-2. Playing for the Basque Country were Zamora, Dusto, Irasquieta, Zugazaga, Ecaberia, Lema, Gaisasola, Estefano, Santa Maria, Arambari, Ibanez, Marignon, Fernando Ansola, Araquistain, Rojo II, Urtiaga, and Ortuando. Topic: <inaudible> Revival 1978. The first game following the dictatorship was played on March 2, 1978 in San Mames against the USSR. The team were called the Selección Vasca and drew 0-0. On August 16, 1979 they played for the first time since 1938 under the name at San Mames Stadium during the Great Week of Bilbao, winning against a League of Ireland 11 4-1. Controversy was caused before the match by the Spanish government deciding that the song of the Basque football team Arbola, the tree of Guernica, should not be sung before the game. This resulted in the Lehendakari Carlos Garacazia the head of the Basque regional parliament and the presidents of the regional councils and the mayors of the Basque capitals, all leaving the presidential box to sit elsewhere in the stadium, to show their protest. CA Osasuna was the only club with players called up who refused to release them for the match. Araragori and Langara two players from the 1937 team kicked off and Iribar served as captain. The game was played as a fundraiser for a campaign promoting the Basque language called by Euskarari, organized by Sestraic, as a response to its suppression during the dictatorship. A few months later the Basque team won again in San Sebastian's mythical Atocha Stadium, against Bulgaria 4-0. In 1980, in Vitoria, they lost 1-5 to Hungary. Other key matches included defeats to Cameroon 0-2-1 and Wales 0-2-1 and victory over Serbia 4-0. Then in 2007, after 69 years without playing outside Spain, the Basque country faced Venezuela in San Cristobal, Venezuela, winning 4-3. Their last game outside Spain before this had been during the Spanish Civil War on June 18, 1939 against Club Atlético Corrales in Mexico City.
Topic: Name change 2007. In 2007 the team's name was changed to Euskal Huria Euskal Herico Football Selecgioa, and on December 29 they played a match against Catalonia in San Mames. The result was Euskal Huria 1, Catalonia 1. The name change, driven by the Basque Football Federation, was denounced by politicians from the Basque Nationalist Party PNV, including the Lehendakari, Juan José Ibarretix, and also the main Spanish political parties such as the Partido Popular PP and PSOE. For this reason the Basque Football Federation proposed returning to the team's previous name, Euskadi for the match scheduled for December 2008 against Iran, 165 Basque players signed a statement announcing that they would not play unless the team was called Euskal Huria. The controversy went beyond the sports arena and against this statement were positioned many political parties such as the PNV, PSE PSOE and PP, and supporting it were Yusko Alkartasuna, Ezker Batua and Yusko Abertzalekinza. At the heart of this dispute were the meanings of the two terms Yuskadi and Yuskal Huria. For the politicians of the PNV who favored the name Euskadi, they saw this as the historic name used by the Basque football team since the 1930s and geographically they said it always included the Spanish Basque country, the French Basque country and Navarre from where the players are selected, but to the players and the politicians supporting them, only the term Euskal Huria had this geographic meaning and to them Euskadi only referred to the Spanish Basque country. This difference of opinion encompassed the nuances of the names, their history known or unknown, and changing public opinions towards what names should be used when referring to all people of Basque culture. In the end the match was cancelled. In 2009 a consensus was reached to use the name Euskal Selecgioa. However, discrepancies between the federation, players and ESAIT led to the match, scheduled again to be played against Iran, not to be played. In 2010 however, although there was still no agreement between players and federation, the players agreed to play the match to be played on December 29 in San Mames, between the Basque Country and Venezuela, which ended 3-1. At this match the gold badge of honor of the Basque Football Federation was presented to Joseba Itziberia, former player of Athletic Club Bilbao, for being the most capped player of the Basque team, and he was allowed to take the kick off. Topic. Recent activity In 2011 the Basque football team played two matches. Firstly on 25 May they visited Estonia winning 1-2, then on December 28 they played their last game in the Old San Mames against Tunisia, losing 0-2. In December 2012 they played Bolivia in San Sebastian, winning 6-1. On 28 December 2013, the Basque team played its first match in the new San Mames Stadium against Peru winning 6-0. On December 28, 2014, a centenary match was played in San Mames against Catalonia to celebrate one 100 years since the first match between these two sides. The game ended 1-1. The same teams played a year later, with Eretz Adariz scoring the only goal in a 1-0 Basque win in Barcelona. In October 2017, the Federation confirmed that the Basque team would not play a friendly match in late December that year as had become traditional, but instead would look to schedule a fixture during one of the FIFA international match calendar dates, possibly in March 2018. However, a proposed meeting with Chile did not come to pass. Eventually, a fixture was arranged for the Basque team to face Venezuela in October 2018 at Mendizorosa. <laughs> FIFA and UEFA membership Several organizations including the Basque government and the Basque Football Federation are trying to persuade FIFA and UEFA to accept the Basque country as an affiliated member. There is a lot of support for this within the Basque country. The United Kingdom provides one model for a sovereign state with more than one FIFA member, while the Faroe Islands is an example of an autonomous constituent country having a separate football team to the national team Denmark. Topic Players Topic Current Squad Squad for the friendly against Venezuela on the twelfth of October twenty eighteen
Caps and goals as of October 13, 2018 Head coach, Mikel Ithari and José María Amorotu. Recent call-ups The following players have played for the team in the last two matches. Results and fixtures Pre-1940 international matches The Federación Gapuzcoana's matches In July 1922 it were created separate federation for Basques Federación Vizcaína and Federación Gapuzcoana and Cantabrians Federación Cantabra, with the result that the North's football team was renamed as the Basque Country Football Team only Basques footballers. Tour officially organized by the Federation of Gapuzkoa, with the participation of four players from Vizcaya. The North Federation matches Non-international matches Topic All time team record As of October thirteenth, twenty eighteen. Topic Managers Pedro Villana, nineteen thirty seven to nineteen thirty nine Jesus Garay, nineteen seventy nine Andoni Elizondo, nineteen seventy nine Jose Antonio Irulegui, 1980 Xabier Exposito, 1988 to 2001 Jose Ángel Iribar, 1988 to 2010 Mikel Itari, 2003 to 11 Javier Arreta, 2011 Jose Maria Amorutu, 2011 to 2016 Topic See also CD. Uzcadi Category – Basque footballers Basque Country Women's National Football Team Tour of USSR in 1937 in Russian Navarre Autonomous Football Team